All right, so this is the Dankoff Solar Force Piston Pump. Uh, my objective really is to pull from this pond that's right out here. You can kind of see it. Um, I'm gonna kind of make an adjustable inlet so that way as it gets farther out, I can extend it and do a kind of a floating intake to keep it on the surface because there's a little bit of grass in here. This thing will handle it, but I'm gonna try to keep it out of it as much as possible. So basically, if you can kind of see it in the video, let's see what we got. Uh, we got the white paint line that's going out there. That's going to be a one and a half inch inlet. Uh, it's going to have a check valve with a strainer on the very end. It's going to be on some flexible pipe that's back up behind me. And then we're going to have a one and a quarter inch outlet, which is going to come out and then wrap around and it's going to feed back up to the hill where we trenched across. Uh, I got the two panel array with about 300 amp hours of battery storage. It's going to be a little bit undersized. I know that the pump that uh, they wound up sending me from Dankoff. I'm super excited that I even got to do this opportunity. It was little, it's about twice the current draw of what we thought it was going to be. So to subsidize that power, I called up IOTA and they sent me a 24 volt uh, AC to DC battery charger. So that way we really can, we can really put a lot more into this now, actually, even being that we're going to get 10 gallons a minute. And now with the uh, effectively with the generator backup on this system, uh, to get as much water as I can out of this pond before it all goes dry. I could literally run the generator the whole time, or not even that, I could run it to charge up the batteries because the way that we sized it, it's big enough to charge the batteries and run the pump at the same time. So with a couple cycles, you know, I'm, I'm gonna say, I did the math at 10 gallons a minute, it takes me 18 days to fill the other pond up and it's about halfway. So if I gotta stay up a few late nights and come out here and keep this thing going to uh, get my other pond full, uh, I'm dedicated enough to do that. So what's going to be neat about this pump too, um, also, is I'm going to, I kind of made it semi-portable with unions that uh, I'm going to use it for right now at this location to fill the upper pond. And then my game plan is, is to put a suction on that pond and then move the pump to that location. And then hopefully for the rest of the year with that pond being full, I'm going to be able to use this to do all the irrigation for my future garden. So this year will really be kind of the testing phase of it. Yeah, but I'm excited. Uh, solar pumping, I mean, doing 10 gallons a minute off of uh, two solar panels and some batteries. You could just do this PV direct and do two solar panels and run this as long as the sun's out, but I want to get more out of that. Um, I could also use this as a pressurization sh uh, system, mainly for irrigation because this is kind of not the cleanest water right now, but uh, I could use this also to do irrigating around the pond. So it's just, it's a big experiment and really it's about learning for uh, getting to the next phase of, of, of being 100% sustainable out here um, off hydro, wind, and solar, and then being able to grow enough food to really reduce a lot of, you know, bringing in outside fuel and food, so.
All right, there it is, super exciting. That's supposed to be roughly 10 gallons a minute. And uh, you can see it flowing down that little uh, spillway that I made. And the most exciting part was really trying to get the, uh, the intake out into the pond by myself in the paddle boat with my little shovel trying to hold myself in place. It was quite awesome. I don't know if I'll put that in my YouTube video or not. Alright, the cover's all on. 
it's all up and running. All I gotta do is get a J box and uh, work on the electrical. It's gonna start raining though, I just need to get a cover over it. It's good for right now. Pumping 10 gallons a minute. How's it going? Man, I got a few really long days and uh, no, I got a few long weeks in getting this pond pump project going and it's crucial. I wanna get as much water stored as I can. And uh, this is uh, kind of sponsored by Dankoff. But we got the Solar Force Piston Pump Up. I got some stuff tinted on the electrical, but you guys know me, it's gonna be legit when I'm done. And again, that's still even, that's a temp placement anyways, it's just to get water pumped this year and see what, if it's gonna work like I want. So, man, check that out. Isn't that awesome? I'm gonna go get a bucket here and test it in just a second. But that is 850 feet away, and that's being pumped off two solar panels. And it's gonna go into this pond. So I got it on batteries. Uh, two solar panels. I got an iota uh, 120 volt AC to 24 volt DC pump that's uh, gonna supply backup power because I know I'm, I'm pulling more, about two amps more than what the solar puts out. So let's rock it. Okay, so down here uh, working on the pond pump, I want to be able to pump till about nine o'clock at night every night. And with uh, the solar and the battery that I have going on, I just don't have quite enough. And I could never do this project where I'm pumping. Um, as much as I'm trying to get out of this before really before I lose all the water out of the pond um, I couldn't pull this off if uh, I didn't have the ability To run uh, using the iota battery charger uh, To charge the batteries up and and get an extended charge time this being a 24 volt DC pump And then this being a 24 volt DC battery charger this iota has really made this kind of turn into a hybrid solar pond pumping system and so when the sun goes down and i need to push extra power to it because there's not quite enough solar to supply all the power for the uh, pump it uh the iota allows me to feed that extra charge in so thanks iota all right iota engineering sent me this uh new adapter it's called the iq turbo and what this does is it plugs into this little port right here and what it does is it, it turns in the battery charger into a four stage smart charger and uh, allows it to have a better algorithm versus just having the standalone charger in there. And so it's gonna make it more efficient on the batteries and give us a better charging algorithm for uh, bulk float. And I, I think it'll also do, no, it won't do equalize, but it will give us a better algorithm to charge those batteries. But man, we have sucked this pond down and done uh, some good damage in pumping it up to the other pond so that we can uh, do fire safety and try to keep it a little bit greener around our house.